The following is a Shaw TV sports presentation. From St. Joseph Collegiate in Saskatoon, it is the second annual Daytona Holmes Senior Basketball Classic All-Star High School Basketball Action from Saskatoon. Good evening, everybody. I'm Simon Hyde alongside Dalton Ulrich, bringing you game two of our doubleheader tonight. In case you missed game one, it was the South coming up with a big victory after trailing big in the first half. And now game two in the men's basketball action, North versus South. Things are pretty even, Dalton, in the, the first game in terms of North versus South talent, but you say in the second game, South might have a bit of an advantage. The South is a little stronger coming out of Regina, just like kind of a better program coming out of there. At the same time, they'll look for Saskatoon to really push the ball, really look, they have great three-point shooters as well. It's going to be a close game, but South is a little bit stronger. Of course, South featuring a few players from that outstanding LaBoldis team that went undefeated on the season and rolled through the provincial finals. Uh, lots of talent on both sides. Should be a, a lot of fun and a huge honor for these players that have been named to this team. Oh, absolutely. This is their last crack at high school basketball, so it's a privilege to put that sass across your chest one last time. One more game for these players. We've got it coming your way right now on Shot TV. Just about ready to get underway here from St. Joseph Collegiate in Saskatoon. All-star boys basketball, the best in the north against the best in the south. Just like in the girls game, it will be the south wearing the black uniforms and the north wearing the green uniforms. Getting ready to jump things off. Steph Grujic, pardon Braden Crone, looks like he'll be jumping for the south. Looks like it'll be Evan Beckler for the North. Opening tip controlled by the South, but ends up in the hands of the North. This is Campbell with the ball, Tim Campbell. Now Kane Shepard. Shepard, little fancy dipsy do passing. Uh, I don't think uh, Tim Campbell was ready for that one. And just like the girls game, the chemistry is gonna be a little off to start this game. So sound control. That was Shanda Simmons with the ball. Braden Crone now. Out of bounds will stay with the South. Just underway in this, this boys all-star high school basketball game. Senior players playing for the last time as high school players. Stolen away, Tim Campbell comes away with it for the North. Kane Shepard trying to work his way in. He draws contact. Kane Shepard looking for a little early show time on the first couple of, couple of trips up the floor. Shepard, a product of Walter Murray Collegiate in Saskatoon, gets the first point of the game by way of the free throw. I always got to cheer for those Walter Murray guys, my alma mater. Not just because Trevor Myrtle is sitting three feet away from me and I know he'd take care of me if I didn't cheer for them. Nice basket on the other and Stefan Grudic lay in for the South. That'll tie it up at two. Kane Shepard pulling back out. Now into the corner. Shot a little bit long for Matt Bank Benson. Watch for team cells to play very fast in this game, pushing the ball. Three-pointer, no good there. Griffin, but there to finish. Great prone. Gives the South the two-point lead. By way of Moose Jaw. Nice. Benkin inside. Lay in for Evan Beckler. All knotted up at four. Quick start to this one. Chanda Simmons wants to take it all the way and can't get it to go. Second chance for Chanda Simmons, and that one won't go either. Loose ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the door. So just underway in this one. All knotted up at four. 8.23 to go. First quarter. That's Caleb Hoffman handling inbound duties. Quick shot. Stefan Grugin. That one no 
good. Tim Hoffman there for the rebound. Trying to smash his way through as Garujic coming away with it is the North, looking up the floor instead of deciding to keep it. Into the corner, long shot. That one off the mark for Mark Weiss. Another chance for the North. Sweet touch from outside. Kane Shepard for three. Kane Shepard starting this game off quite hot. He's looking for his shots. He's getting good looks. Lucky to keep it alive there for the South. And then an easy turnaround lay-in for Steph Grudic. He can't finish it, but there was his teammate, Sean Griffin, put it away. Back to a one-point game. 7-6, 7.33 to go. Nice touch. Evan Becker, two more points. He's got four of his team's nine. Long shot again off the mark. Chan to Simmons. South doing a good job on the offensive boards in the early going. Can't hit their shots, however. Griffin off the mark. Another chance for the South. And finally, they do get a drop. Great thrown there to put it away, using that size to his advantage. Campbell looking to take it in. Last touched by the South. So North will hang on. 17 seconds on the shot clock, 6.57 to go first quarter. One point lead for the North. Turnaround, quick shot, Campbell, no good. Loose ball collection handled by Griffin. He pushes into the front court, hands it off for Chan Simmon. The Simmon passes off for Crone. Crone, nice touch, he's got six. The Simmon is unbelievable penetrating the defense, and he creates great looks for his teammates. Shepard, far side, back to Beckler. Beckler, now Tim Campbell. Campbell for three, no good. Loose ball, swatted out of bounds. Looked like it went off the hands of Mark Weiss of Team North. Ten nine south, they've got the ball. Early going to this one, fast start. A lot of firepower on both benches, these Saskatchewan teams. Caleb Hoffman back out for Chan to Simmons. Good defense there shutting down. Benkick and then forcing the turnover. Rupert comes away with it. Now Shepard into the corner. Benkick, turnaround shot, a little bit short. Prone there for the rebound. Big Ben's gonna dribble. Try to look, go for the no-look pass. Now well, sometimes Big Ben shouldn't dribble. Yeah, sometimes. For a big man, though, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, no, he, he did a good job getting to that point. Just a little bit of trouble when he tried for the pass. I had the pleasure of coaching Crone in uh, U16 two years ago. Great kid, uh, great work ethic. I think that's where that's what's got him into this game, his work ethic over his high school years. Saw it a lot in the girls' game if you weren't with us. Mass substitutions for both teams. As that shot's off the mark for Nathan Unruh of the North. North keeps it alive, however, for Davis Humbert. Both North and South completely turning over their lineup. Coming up with the loose ball rebound for the South there. 13, Colton Bellamy. Now this is Kieran Hebert setting the play up high. He gets it into the hands of Bellamy. Bellamy looking down low. Nice pass on Klansner. Drawing contact. Lansner out of Miller Collegiate in Regina. Foul called on Marcus Gacko of the North. First foul for the North. Joshua Eckstrom going to put up the long shot. Only gets back or there for the loose ball rebound. Unable to put it back though was Flansner. So back from the North and then stripped away from them. Good job by Zach Tamlin to come up with the steal. Hebert looking to take it in. No good there for the putback, though. Zach Hamlin. Davis Humbert, now quick shot. Braxton Durham for three. That is not a guy you want to leave open. He will do that to you all game if you don't have a hand. All knotted up at 12. Four and a half to go, first quarter. Joshua Exner now working it around on the outside. Now down low. Turnaround shot. That was no good for Flansner. Long 
shot. That was well up in Braxton Durham. Up the dribble, Exner, long shot. That one rattles home. Zach Hamlin for three. Gives the South a three-point lead. Gacko gets down low, now back up high. Long shot, a little bit too long there for Nathan Unruh. North keeps it alive, Gacko controls. Into the corner, nine up, nice back pass back outside. Dude, Logan able to put it away for the North, back to a one-point game. 3.33 to go first quarter. South with the lead and the ball. Ebert, nice pass. Shot no good, however, for Flansner. Another quick shot from outside. This one also off the mark for Braxton Durham. Turnaround shot, though, great touch. No, Lucas. Three minutes to go, first quarter. One point lead for the North. Bellamy controls. Flanser, now long shot. That one rattles around, won't drop for Joshua Exner. Both teams are getting really good looks yeah. at the basket right now. Quick shot. That one rattles and takes that up for three. Another guy you do not want to leave open on that three point line. This is Exner. Back to Hebert. That one off the mark. Loose ball. Grabbed by Tamlin of the South. He flips it over to Colton Bellamy. Now he goes cross court open. Look, Joshua Exner for three. A lot of three point attempts so far in this yeah. game. One point game, 2.07 to go. First quarter, running kick, nice touch off the glass. That drops to Braxton Durham. And right when I say that, Durham goes right to the rim. Yeah. Put a three three pointer so far, only hit one of them. That shot won't drop from Kieran Hebert. Nice pass. Long shot, no good for Unra. Good effort there, really great hustle. Trying to save it, Walken unable to do so. Mass substitutions again for the South. Both of these teams with 10 players each, so makes those platoon subs pretty easy. North not electing the sub at that time. They lead by three, and now they've got another steal. This is Humbert on the run, can't get it to go, but gets the foul call. Great steal and push and transition, forcing the foul. Davis Humbert to the free throw line from Saskatoon's Aiden Bowman Collegiate. Another good high school basketball, basketball program in Saskatoon. One for two on that trip, so up to a four point lead. What a pass, what a finish by the Sim in there. Caleb Hoffman finding him. And Humbert on the other side with the lay in. Another quick shot. That went off the mark for Sean Griffin. Simmon comes away with it for the South. Two on two opportunity, trying to keep it alive. Caleb Hoffman falling out of bounds. The ball goes back over to the north. Under a minute to go, first quarter. Getting that fast pace we expected. North on just about a 100 point pace for the game. That shot off the mark for Braxton Durham. Another chance for the North. New Logan can't finish it. Back comes the South. And just like that, Marcus Gacko comes away with it and gets the lay in. 
Looked like Drake Crone did all he could on that one. But good take there by Gackle on the fast break. Yeah, a little bit of sloppy play here from Jeep, so they got to find their rhythm. As you say that, Simmons gets it knocked out of his hands, so another chance for the North. Durham flips it back out high. Long shot, Marcus Gackle for three. And just like that, a great run at the end of the first quarter there for the North. And they will take a 29-20 lead into the second quarter. We'll be back with second quarter coverage in just a few minutes. You are watching the second annual Daytona Home Senior Basketball Classic on Shaw TV. After 10 minutes of play, our score 29-20, Northern Saskatchewan, the nine point lead over Southern Saskatchewan. A very fast pace to that first quarter. Absolutely, and Tanner Brightman, uh, coach of the South here, is not liking what he sees. He lost last year and he was saying to me today, he wants this win today. Good job there to kick it back out. Long shot, that one off the mark. For Sean Griff, another chance here for the South. Mike Grujic gets it stripped away momentarily, but keeps it alive and tries to get it over to his teammate, Sean Griffin. Long shot, nice touch, Caleb Hoffman for three. Great shot by Caleb Hoffman. Very small town, Saskatchewan, St. Drew. Yeah. Very, very fine players come out of there. Chanda Simmon now after another North turnover with the dunk to finish it. Oh, me, oh my, Chanda Simmon going up and throwing it down hard. What an athlete he is. Something that seems to run in that DeSimmons family. Yeah, they seem to have a few good basketball <laughs> players, don't they? Kate Shepard for three for the North. Opens up a seven point lead for them. Not too many fouls called so far in this game. That one will go on Kate Shepard. First one of the game for him, also the first of the quarter on either team. North by seven, south with the ball. This is Hoffman. And then losing the handle, Braden prone. Didn't really look like it was even all that defended. I think Braden just kind of kind of missed it. Yeah, took his eye off the ball too early there. So back comes the North, leading by seven, eight and a half to go first, pardon me, second quarter. Long shot, that one off for Tim Campbell. There for the rebound was Grujic. So down comes DeSimmon. Looked like he might pull back for the shot. Wanting to go one on one. And South turns it over, good defense there by the North. Weiss will take it in, looking down low. Leads to the long shot, that one off for Campbell. Another chance for North. Could be just a little turnaround shot, and Evan Beckler hits for two. Yeah, early in this game, you're seeing Team North have a little bit more chemistry than Team South. Moving the ball a little bit more. 34-25, 7.45 to go, second quarter. Nice pass down low, but oh, tough foul call. Braden Crone thought he had the turnaround look, and a couple of North players were all over him. So Crone will three head to the free throw line. Foul on that Bentick. Bentick trying to plead his case right now to the referee, but the referee says he got him on the side of the head there. Fair enough. So Crone out of Peacock and Moose Jaw. Misses the first one. Foot five senior, no good on either attempt, so still nine point game. Campbell gonna slow things down a little bit. Now he'll put up a long shot. Campbell hits for three. Double digit lead for the North, 37 25. Rome gets it knocked away but recovers. This is Exner. Exner with a bit of a screen, open look for the shot, no good. Down with it is Weiss. He'll push for the North. 
Now another long, long look for Tim Campbell, and he gets for Maria again. Chatter Brightman wants a timeout here. He's not happy with the effort. Same thing we saw in the girls' game. Uh, Team North just wants it more. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you weren't with us for the girls' game, the North completely controlled pretty much the entire first half of action. Then the girls from the South came alive in the third quarter on both ends. Eventual game MVP, Nicole Konechny, caught fire both defensively and offensively. Pretty even match in the fourth quarter, but in the end it was a 62-56 victory for Team Southern Saskatchewan in girls basketball. And coming into this one, we thought South might have the advantage, but right now on the scoreboard, it's the North with the 15-point lead doing everything right right now. Yeah, they are hitting shots and taking good ones at the same time. Yeah. All sorts of three-pointers dropping for the North. Seven or eight of them now for Team Northern Saskatchewan in the first half of action. We've still got 7.05 to go. Will be south ball as we come out of that timeout. Here in Hebert controls. Now Exner. Flansner now back outside. Long shot for the big man, Zach Hamlin. Another opportunity for the South. That one will rattle home for John Flansner. Flansner, one of those underrated players in Regina. He can really ball. Now, nice move carrying all the way through. Mark Weiss, sweet take. Bounce pass. Hamlin inside. Shot won't drop to Flansner. Another chance for the South. Exner will reset. Hands it off for Tamlin. He looks to push his way in now, dishes out. Bellamy, turnaround shot, that one no good. Another chance for the South. No real opening there for Tamlin, but does get it to go. Six minutes to go, first half of action. Now, nice take all the way in. Sweet lay in Kane Shepard. What a move by Shepard. He faked the handoff and just went right to the rim. Fooled the entire team south. Shepard up to nine points on the night. Quick take there, no good for Hebert. Ben kick looking to work his way through. Good defense there from Zach Hamlin. Ben kick goes down, helped back up by his teammates. North will hang on to the ball. They also maintain a 15-point lead, looking to make it 18. No good there. Tip attempt. Beckler trying to put back the long shot by Weiss. Now Tim Campbell short on the three-point attempt. Back from the south. On the run, Exner. He dishes it off. Looked like a relatively easy lay-in for Zach Tamlin. Just went in maybe a little too strong. Couldn't get it to go. Yeah, that rim is not friendly down there for Team South right now. So still a 15-point lead for the North. Shepard dribbles through. Now back outside. Tim Campbell running through. They are shooting the lights out, Team North, right now. Halfway through this second quarter, it's an 18-point lead for the team from Northern Saskatchewan, almost forcing another turnover there. Long shot, that one no good for Exner. South is getting their looks, just can't get it to drop right now. Shepard able to hit on three, rattled around, wouldn't go. This is Tamlin, nice pass inside. Bellamy, he goes down low. Not enough room for Flansner to hit that shot. Shepard will come away with it. He'll look to go on the run, trying to dish it off to Benkick. Ends up in the hands of Beckler. He's going to take it in. Nice little running float shot. Got to get those loose balls if your team sells. You can't get them two opportunities at the rim. Beckler up to eight points on the night. Behind his back goes Exner. Picks up the dribble. This is Tamlin. Hebert. Running shot. That one won't go. Nothing dropping right now for the South. 
3.45 to go first half. North by 20. Nice passing by the North. Look at that. Matt Bentick finding Evan Beckler. How pretty is that? Team North just playing awesome right now. Chemistry looks perfect right now, and it's amazing because yeah. it's all guys that very exactly. rarely play together. Yeah. This looks like a team that's been playing together all season. Absolutely. It's hot as they are. That's how cold the South is. Another miss. This time pulls Bellamy. Kane waiting. Pulls it back out for Weiss. Now over to Campbell. Long shot. Kane for three. Unbelievable ball movement to start that whole possession. Finding a wide open shot. Kane Shepard shooting the lights at up to 12 on the night. Both sides have been wanting to get their substitutions in for a while now. It hasn't been a whistle in a long time. As I say that, we do get one. It'll come on the foul. Coach Brightman sarcastic there with a little cheer. Finally <laughs> to get a change of scenery on the court Switch here. it up. So everyone replaced on both sides with the exception of John Flansner, who's going to shoot a pair of free throws. Foul will go on Tim Campbell of Team North. Flansner, two points on the night. Flansner good on the second one. That'll allow him to check out of the game. Still a 23 point deficit for the South. That shot off the mark for Davis Humbert. Nice long pass up ahead and a good lay in under pressure there for Stefan Grujic. Very close to going out of bounds. Apparently did go out of bounds right in front of us there. To Braxton Durham. So back over to the South. Trailing by 21, two and a half to go first half. Quick pass up ahead for Grujic. Turnaround shot, that one won't drop. So back comes Durham and the North. He'll draw some contact as he was working his way down the floor. Foul charge to number 10. Brayden Crump is going to be called for the foul. His first, team's first here with 2.17 to go in the second quarter. Turnaround shot. That one clunks for Logan. So back comes the South. 2.05 remaining first half. They need to get some momentum going. Chan to Simmons can't hit the shot, however. Ball swatted back. Simmons ends up with it, pushes his way in, and picks up the foul on his way through. Chan to Simmons is going to try to give a spark to this team self here. He's going to look to drive, take his shots. He's the guy that can get it going. Simmons from that outstanding Regina LeBoldis team that pretty much dominated everywhere they played this season, including winning the Bedford Road Invitational Tournament here in Saskatoon. Simmons inside, now back out from Grudic, two to Simmons, he takes it in, can't get the lay in though. Turnaround shot, oh my gosh, South just can't hit anything right now. How many looks are they gonna get? There is an absolute lid on the basket right now. The other end, a miss for the North is Durham unable to hit. They'll get another chance at it, however. Leading by 21. Look how far he's back there. Durham jacking it from near half court. Can't hit it. And then another steal for the North as Humbert read that one all the way. Good passing. Loken going to try and take it in. Draws contact on his way through. Ball knocked out of bounds. No foul. He'll stay with the North, 18 seconds on the shot clock, 112 on the game clock here in the first half. A Little bit of contact on that three point attempt, not enough for the foul though. So back comes the South, this is the Simmons. Up high, long shot, Sean Griffin off the mark. South hasn't hit a shot in about a week and a half. Has lots manager. of good looks. Absolutely. You know, you can't fault them for the way they're running their offense because they're creating good opportunities, but man, oh man. Yeah, they can't have halftime come soon enough just yeah. to get a new a new rim to look at. Halftime just 47 seconds away. 
Another miss here for the North. Is their shooting's also gone a little bit cold as they haven't really been able to pull away as much as you'd think they would be able to. Yeah, it's that line change. That line that's sitting on the bench right now really yeah. gave a spark. Absolutely. 21 point lead for the North. South with the ball, time winding down. Turnaround shot, another one that misses. Off the glass and in, and sweet relief. Great prone hits. So shot clock off, 10 seconds to go, first half of action. Right now a 19 point North lead, looking to make it more, heading to the locker room, picking up the dribble. Nathan Unruh, long shot, that one no good. Davis Humber, but still 54-35 lead for the team from Northern Saskatchewan. I don't know what you think, but uh, we talked about it off the top of the broadcast. Certainly the South may, it might have the advantage in terms of talent, but you almost wonder, is that a hindrance in a game like this? Because you've got a bunch of guys who are maybe a bit more individualistic. Right now, it seems like the North in the first half playing much more like a team. I am astounded by the North's chemistry right now. The South just has too many personalities. They're not moving the ball well. They're taking contested looks. Like I said, the North is moving the ball to perfection. 54-35 is our score. After 20 minutes of play, we're going to take a break. Be back with you in just a few minutes for the second half of action. You are watching the second annual Daytona Home Senior Basketball Class on Shot TV. Back at St. Joseph Collegiate in Saskatoon. Time for the second half of the all-star game between the North and the South in boys high school basketball. 54-35 is our score at the half. It's the North with the 19-point lead. Pretty evenly matched game for the first quarter. And then the second quarter, North really pulled away. And they'll start off the third quarter with the ball. You're going to want to see Team South kind of dive in defensively here. Yeah. And as you say that, they come away with the steal. And unable to finish, though. Great play, though, by Chan to Simmons to wrestle that ball away and get the lay in. Little bit of a quiet first half for Simmons. Shot off the mark for Tim Campbell. I see Coach Brightman changed up his lines a little bit here, getting new faces, playing with new faces. Simmons off the mark. Leads to a fast break attempt. Nice lay in Tim Campbell. Back to that 19 point North lead. And then Chan Simmons on the other side with the answer. One minute into the third quarter, Simon Hyatt, Dalton Ulrich from St. Joe's. 56-39 our score. Trying to work his way through was Kane Shepard, gets it knocked away. Back comes South, trailing by 17. Turnaround shot, that one no good for Grugic. Quick shot again for Campbell, that one no good. Gets the rebound on his own miss, but can't get it to drop. Those agonizing ones that just rolled around on the rim. Back comes South. Ken DeSimmons takes it in, draws contact. He is explosive when yeah. he goes to the rim. Tim Campbell picking up his second foul. Chan Simmons a couple of shots. Mentioned the outstanding season his LeBoldis team had. Provincial champions beating the team that typically plays here, St. Joseph, 108-79 in that provincial championship. After going perfect in the regular season and winning the Bedford Road Invitational Tournament, Kane Shepard lay in on the other side. So back to an 18 point North lead. Good read there by Campbell, reaches in and knocks it away, but then 
throws to his opposite number, Kieran Hebert, who comes away with it. And then Campbell steals it right back from Hebert. He's going to try for the land. No, nice pass back. Can't get it to drop, though. Mark Weiss leads to the opportunity at the other end for Steph Grujic. Both teams looking a little out of gas here. Yeah. They did a lot of running in that first half. Yeah, absolutely they did. Tim Campbell hits that three-pointer, his fourth of the game. I'm impressed by Tim Campbell yeah. tonight. Back up to a 19-point north lead to Simmons. He's going to put up the three-pointer. That looks good. Three minutes gone here in the third quarter of action. Nice turnaround lay in shot. Matt Benkick gets his first points of the game. 18 point north lead. Simmons spins around, dishes it off. Nice touch. Stefan Rugic. Team South needs to get a stop here and go on a little bit of a run to get back in this game. Ed got really cold at the end of the second quarter, so gotta feel good to be hitting baskets, although at this point just kind of trading baskets. Tate Shepard hits for three. He is an unbelievable player tonight. Yeah. If there's some coaches out here looking for some players, he's going to be, they're going to be knocking on his doorstep. His former coach, Trevor Myrtle from Walter Murray, sitting a few feet away from him. You know, he's beaming with pride. Now another three-pointer. The other way, Zach Tamlin hits for three. Big man can shoot. Campbell thought about it there. Now we'll take a couple steps inside the three-point land. Hits for two. Shepard and Campbell taking over this game right yeah. now. 18-point north lead, 5.45 to go third quarter. DeSimmon also wanted to get into the action. You get a foul on the inside. Team North will turn over their entire lineup. A couple of substitutions for Team South. Joshua Exner, Sean Griffin back into the game. And I'll send Colton Bellamy and Kieran Hebert to the bench. Simmon heads to the free throw line. His Team South trailing by 18. Misses the first one. 5.43 to go third quarter. Been no good on either ten. Big fight for the loose ball. Winning it is Team North. They go on the run. A little bit of trouble down low for Nathan Unra. So South comes away with a quickly ahead for Beckler. Long shot. That one short for Joshua Exner. So back comes the North. Great lay in with a hand in his face. New Logan. Came onto the Saskatchewan scene late last year as he made the U-17 team and really impressed. Tough call there against Davis Humbert. Foul charge, number seven, Davis Humbert. Two shots. You know that last name. Probably a basketball fan in Saskatoon. Humbert's legendary. His dad, Paul, of course, a huge figure in Saskatoon basketball, and three of his sisters are either current or former Huskies, Riley, Jill, and Madeline. Another sister is a great volleyball player for the U of S Huskies, and now Davis Humbert becoming a star basketball player in his own right. Three-point attempt, no good. Wonkin. Tried to swat it away, going to be called for the foul. Foul church. It's a shame you're seeing right now kind of a soft negative side to Team South. On the bench, not really cheering, heads kind of down. A lot of game left here. You know, just a couple shots away from getting back in this. Sure. Chanda Simmons knows that. He gets for three. Makes it a 16-point game, but you're right. No real reaction over there on the south bench when the uh, three-pointer hit. What a pass. Beautiful pass, absolutely. <laughs> Stefan Rujic, the recipient of the pass from Chad Simmons. Three-pointer, no good. So south has cut it to a 14-point game. The Simmons, some great move to work his way through. Gets the ball down low, but good defense. Humbert comes up with the block. 
He'll go on the run. Now pull things back a little bit. Off balance shot. That one no good for Durham. Still a 14 point game. Long shot. That one no good. Grujic. Not really the look you want in that sense from that guy. He's more of an inside player. You want to swing that ball around and try to get a better look. Two pointer off the mark. Here for the rebound, Grujic. Now wide open, easiest lay in that Joshua Exner will ever have in his life. Buzzer sounded, but apparently no timeout there. So play on. Down to a 12 point North lead. Three and a half to go. Third quarter, starting to feel a little bit like the girls game where uh, the third quarter, the South really kind of crept back, crept back in the third quarter and then pulled away in the fourth. Yeah, absolutely. Basketball's a game of runs. So you yeah. want to run real fast and get back into a ball game. Timeout called by Team South, 72-58 our score. 318 to go, third quarter game two of our doubleheader on all-Star Saturday night here at St. Joseph Collegiate. Big thanks to St. Joe's for hosting these games. Nice atmosphere here at St. Joe's. You know, it's a newer high school, but it's still a, a fairly intimate gym. One of my other jobs when I'm not working for Shaw TV, I call the, do the play-by-play -play for the Huskies. And Huskies men's team actually played a couple of games here in the, their first round of playoffs. And they were kicked out of the physical activities complex because the national volleyball championships were in town. And it was a great atmosphere here for those CIS playoff games. And a nice atmosphere here as well. Some crowds enjoying some outstanding all-star high school basketball. Oh, it's just great to see guys like Chanda Simmons and yeah. Josh Exner, and then you got Campbells of the World coming from the north side that just love the game, and they yeah. play with the best of their ability. It's so fun for the fans to see that. Merging from the timeout, 3.18 to go, third quarter, 14-point lead for the north. South with the ball, doing what they can to crawl their way back into this one. To Simmons controls. Looking for the opening, kicks it over for Griffin. Now back to Simmons, thinks about the shot. His Five on the Yeah, unreal. Three on the shot clock, it's gonna be a bit of a desperation one, just getting the front of the rim, and that'll give them a new shot clock. However, it goes for waste as the ball goes out of bounds. Checking in for Team South, number one, Caleb Hoffman. Caleb Hoffman gonna check back in for Team South Saskatchewan. They continue to trail by 14. Shot no good for Gacko. So back comes South. Working his way through, drawing contact, Sean Griffin. Griffin, not a shooting foul. Good read there. And good play by Newt Lockett to keep it alive for Team North. Unra, shot waved off, gonna be called for the travel. Nathan Unruh, another guy that's just great at getting to the rim. Similar to his brother, Alex Unruh. Yeah. Playing for the Huskies. Absolutely. This is Flansner. Running shot, nice touch, John Flansner. So South now within 12. Durham. Behind the pack pass, over his head pass, I should say. Foul on the three point attempt. Three shots for Nathan Unruh. Gonna be three shots for Nathan Unruh. You love seeing that as a coach, don't you? Oh, Fouling absolutely. somebody shooting a three pointer. Oh, yeah, that really <laughs> just makes you happy. Yeah. Not hearing much from Sean Tyson tonight. No. He's really keeping to himself, letting his boys play. 
They've been doing a good job all night long. Absolutely. Hunter unable to really take advantage of his three shots there. So he goes over on that trip. And then back in the other direction comes the north or the south, Caleb Hoffman with the lane. Down to a 10-point game. Durham, no good. Into the lap of Logan. Tried to kick it back out. Good defense there by the South. Reading that one was Exner. He's going to slow things down over wide open look for Crone off the mark. Then offensive rebound. Good job, John Flansner. What a great rebound and put back there by Flansner. Single digit lead. Hasn't been that since first quarter. North. Feeling it slip away, maybe just a little bit here as we hit the one minute mark in the third. I have a feeling Coach Dice is going to wait till the fourth quarter to put Shepard back into the game, along with Tim Campbell, to really give the fourth quarter a good start and get back in the lead here. Now storming back. They've got the ball now, trailing by just eight. That's an air ball, though, that won't help. Loose ball. Lockin comes away with it. Following the miss by Exner. Drive, now the dish. Unable to hit Lockett. Back on the south, under 30. Trailing by eight. Looking to take momentum into the fourth. Nice pass on the inside, but big block. Davis, Humbert. You are seeing some defense, defense yeah. from him today. Durham puts it up for three. That one no good. Loose ball, controlled by Lockett. Turnaround shot off glass. That one no good. Again, Lockett fighting for a great hustle. Lockett wants that basketball. What a player that Logan is. He's hitting the ground. Even up eight points here. He wants this game. 72 64. It's turning into a bit of a game, folks. 10 minutes to go in this one. North with that slim lead. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter. You are watching the second annual Daytona Homes Senior Basketball Classic on Shaw TV. Ten minutes to go here at St. Joseph's Collegiate in the second annual Daytona Home Senior Basketball Classic. 72-64, North Saskatchewan with the lead they've enjoyed for much of this game, but it's gotten much tighter in the past 10 minutes. Chan DeSimmon well off the mark on that three-point attempt, however, and then going out of bounds with Josh Exner. So back comes the North. After a pretty tough third quarter for them, Up to 12 points unofficially on the night. Gives his team back the double digit lead at 74 64. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. Another air ball here for the South. Hyman Hyatt, Dalton Ulrich from St. Joseph Collegiate in Saskatoon. Some contact there. Get a foul. Foul shirts, number nine against John Flansner of the South. Van de Simmons trying to draw that charge there, but Flansner got him a little bit before. First of the game on Flansner. Now, quick shot from the corner. That one off the mark for Weiss. 10 point North lead. A little bit of trouble on the inside. Good job there. Good hustle by Caleb Hoffman to keep it alive for his South team. Throw it off the backside of one of the North players. So will remain South ball. This is Hoffman putting up the long shot. That one no good there for the rebound. That Ben kick quickly up ahead into the hands of Kane Shepard. As you speculated, he comes out starting the fourth quarter and a beautiful lay in. He's had an outstanding game for the North. Yeah, it comes in back into the game and just keeps up where he left off. Simmons again going to put up the three-pointer. This time he hits it. You don't want to let him get hot. No. He will stroke the basketball in a hurry. Back to a single-digit game, 
Losing the ball momentarily, but recovering and putting it away. Evan Beckler for another basket. South can't string uh, together some stops here. They're in a world of trouble. Yeah. Hebert, now Hoffman. Picking up the dribble. Hebert gonna put it up. He hits for three. Kieran Hebert from downtown. Kane Shepard. They're gonna count it. Was, there are continuations and there are continuations. That one. That's an NBA five continuation seconds. right there. <laughs> He's having a heck of a game. He though. really is. Probably leading contender, I would say, right now for your player of the game. As he heads to the free throw line. Last foul on Kieran Hebert. And Shepard completes the three-point play. Back to an 11-point lead to Simmon. Attempting to dish, draws contact on his way through the key. Shepard picks up his second. First team foul, 7.43 to go here in the fourth and final quarter. That shot, a little bit short for Hebert. Shepard in the other direction. He's gonna put it up from outside. That one rattles and won't drop. Hoffman there for the rebound. He'll push for the south. Draws contact. Foul will go on Evan Beckler up north. His first team second. 11 point north lead. South still hanging around in this one, but need to make a run. Not sure that Grujic knew that pass was intended for him, so he tracks it down to Simmons feeding Grujic, or attempting to at least, ball knocked out of bounds by Benkic. They did that play a few times in the boldest this year, I think. Good chemistry there, and now a nice lay-in. Kieran Hebert, good fourth quarter for him. He's got five points here in the final frame. Pulls his team back within nine. Well, the trouble there for Weiss. North lucky to keep it alive. Beckler unable to finish, however. So back comes the south. To Simmons, can't get the dunk to finish it. That would have been sweet. Yeah. A little momentum too for Team Self. And then on the other end, Weiss driving and drawing contact. Well, that'll send Mark Weiss to the free throw line. Two shots for Mark Weiss. Weiss playing on his home floor. Graduate of St. Joseph Collegiate here in Saskatoon. Misses the first one. Foul called on Caleb Hoffman, his first. Second free throw is good, so back to a 10-point North Saskatchewan lead, 82-72. 6.36 to go. Hoffman, good defense by the North, just ripping it away there with Evan Beckler. And then some pretty good defense there from the South, although it will go as a foul against Steph Grujic. His third. Third of, the third of the game on Steph Grujic. Team's fourth here in the fourth quarter. Next one will put the North into the bonus. Much needed stop there yeah. by Team South. Back Tamlin putting up the three pointer. No good. Campbell down with it. And then we'll get. Stay with the North. Oh, belt me back in for the south. Ten point north lead as we hit ten. Uh, pardon me, the six minute mark. We'll have a stoppage here as Mark Weiss is bleeding. It looks like he might have taken a shot to his head there.
Not sure if Sean Tyson's gonna elect to send somebody else into the game. Looks like he will. Braxton Durham gonna come in to replace the bloodied Mark Weiss. Weiss is not happy he had to come out of the game. He is a tough competitor. Yeah. Reluctantly making his way to the locker room. Under six to go in this one. Picking up the dribble, Campbell. Now back outside, up top, 4-3. That one off the mark for Campbell. Now south of Chance, make it a single digit game. Shot a little bit long there for Grugic. Campbell on the run, long shot, no good. Simmons got a hand on it. But coming away with the big steal and the putback, Evan Beckler. Just nothing going Team South way right yeah. now. Loose balls all going to the Team North. Back to a lead of a dozen for the North. That one off the mark for Kieran Hebert. Mass substitutions for Team North. Mark Weiss will remain on the bench. Still wiping up the blood. Five minutes remaining. Picking up Dribble Humbert. Nice pass. Logan can't finish it though. Man, I thought that one was on its way through before it got spit back out. Long pass, good defense there by the North, so they'll get another chance. This is Unra on the run. Nice bounce pass. Great shot underneath Braxton Durham. I can't believe the chemistry this team yeah. North has. Now starting to pull away again a little bit. South had made it a nine point game. Now back to a 14 point North lead, another South miss. And the shooting woes continue yeah. for Team South. And again, really everything going the way of the North, even when they make what looks like a sure turnover, they hang on to it. Quick shot, that one no good for Gacko. Battle on the sideline. We'll stay with Team North. Braxton Durham with a bit of a head rub for one of the patrons there on the sideline. This is Humbert. Can't get him to drop, Logan. Another one that just dangles on the rim agonizingly for him. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Braxton Durham finally says, all right, I'll put it up. Can't hit it. And now we'll get a foul against the North. Newt Loken picks it up. I'll put South into the bonus. Or will it? I'll check it. That will not. And we'll get a timeout. Charged to Team South. 86-72 our score, four minutes remaining here in this All-Star game. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. And we've got several viewers tuning in in the southern part of the province as well as right here in Saskatoon, enjoying some great high school All-Star basketball action. These two teams wearing jerseys that have seen a lot of action tonight. Uh, so we understand there was a bit of a jersey snafu for the girls game earlier on, so they actually had to wear the guys' jerseys tonight. So They were a little big. Yeah, we we're speculating if, uh, I don't know if they, if they got the laundry treatment between games or maybe just a, just a big old bottle of Febreze. I'm not sure which, but uh, it's not affecting Team North. It's, they've had an outstanding game and starting to pull away again a little bit from Team South. Now, Team South doesn't need to get back in this game by just shooting threes. They can move the ball, get some nice inside touches, but right now they're just putting up threes, and it hasn't worked for them all game. They need to try something else in the last four minutes of this game. Trailing by 14, you know this Team South has the talent to put some runs together. Will they be able to do it? And the South rise again. Four minutes exactly, 86-72 our score coming out of the timeout. 
Chanda Simmons controls for the south. Back on him. Long shot rattles around and won't drop. Kieran Hebert thought he had it. Now it's to Simmons putting up the long shot. That one off the mark. This ball tracked down by Gacko. Now long outlet pass for Braxton Durham. Can't get it to go. Hits the ground hard. Chanda Simmons will be called for the foul. Like I said, Team South really just forcing the three-pointer right now. It's a lot of time left in this game to get back in it. You don't have to force it. His first. Simmons' first foul of the game. Two shots for Braxton Durham. 15 foul for the South. Braxton Durham to the free throw line for the North. Another one of those guys that's very familiar with this building. Played his high school career here at St. Joe's, so you know, probably a little bit extra special for him getting one last kick at the cat here in, uh, here in his home court. Absolutely. That's a special moment for him to play here one last time. Looked like pretty good defense there by the North. Will go as a foul against Braxton Durham. Foul charge, number five, Sean Griffin. Number five, Braxton Durham. Team fourth. Fourth team foul, first on Durham. 3.22 to go. South really needs to put a run together here. Long shot, that one off to the side for Crone. They're not tracking the official stats, but you can only imagine what the shooting percentage is for Team South. Not good, not good at all. In the 20s, perhaps? Yeah. North will hold on to it. Fresh shot clock, three minutes to go in the game. Looking to put this one away unless South can really turn the momentum around. Turnaround shot, no good. Davis Humbert, whistle underneath. That will send Newton Loke to the free throw line. Braden Crone called for the foul. Oh, Davis Humbert just missed that last shot. He is having a very solid yeah. game, both offensively and defensively. One for two on that trip for Logan to a 16-point North lead. Finally, something drops to the South. Caleb Hoffman hits for two. Makes it a 14-point game. Two and a half remaining. Bit of a screen there for Humbert. Shot well off the mark. Going up, trying to put it back is Loken. He got bailed out there a little bit on the foul call. About church, number nine, John Lansner called for it. Just kind of put his hand out, didn't even leave his feet to try and block that shot. Looked relatively clean, but officials call the foul. So a couple more free throws. Again, Loken goes one for two on that trip. 15 point lead for the North. 2.19 to go. Hoffman, nice dish. Lansner. Ball swatted away, South will hang on to it. 13 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Hoffman, long inbound pass for Crone. Now Exner. Pull back out, open look here, Braden Crone for three. Braden Crone for three. It's nice that it goes in, but I think it's a little too late yeah. right now. Just under two minutes remaining now. 12 point North lead. We're at a typical game, you think, ah, oh, probably work the clock a bit here. But in an all star game, you might see some quick shots. Maybe an ill advised one there for Braxton Durham as that one gets knocked back. But North keeps it alive. Time expires on the shot clock. Coming down with the rebound, Newt Loken. And he'll head back to the free throw line. Hustle plays. He just gets hustle plays, which he gets rewarded by shooting free throws when he hustles. And Logan, impressive that he's able to make this team from LCBI there in Outlook, Saskatchewan. 
in, one for two, so 90 to 77 lead for the North. Now Loken looks like he'll be called for the foul. As Flansner gets hacked. Send him to the free throw line. He's third of the game on Loken. Both teams now in the bonus for the final minute and 26 seconds. Flansner hits the first one. They're out of Miller Collegiate. Good on both attempts. Make an 11 point game. 126 to go. A little bit too fancy there, but again, just everything going the way of the North here. Yeah, it's not the South State, that's for sure. Yeah. Caleb Hoffman going to be called for the his foul, his second. So that'll send Davis Humbert to the free throw line. Like his aforementioned siblings, this year will be a graduate of Aiden Bowman Collegiate. Misses the first one. Second one rattles home. 12 point North lead. Really, the South completely with their backs up against the wall now, especially with the miss on that three point attempt by Exner. Another chance here for the South. And we'll get a foul called against Nathan Unruh. The refs are really making this game longer <laughs> for these boys. They are not putting the whistles away. No one wants to see the season come to an end. Let's stretch it out as much as we can. Caleb Hoffman to the free throw line. Makes an 11 point game, 101 to go. Hoffman from St. Brew, as we mentioned earlier in the game. Small town to the east of Saskatoon, I believe about 40 minutes away or so. Durham controls, now working the clock maybe a little bit. No, Durham's gonna throw up the three pointer from way outside, that one no good. Back comes the south. Hoffman gonna push. Nice pass down low. Oh, still Humber. good defense. Humber, you're right. What an outstanding defensive game. Yeah, he is playing a solid game tonight. John Flansner does get the second chance basket. Durham can't get that one to go. Loose ball tracked down by Logan. Again. Yeah. Durham looking to take it in, scoops it underneath, toss the hard foul. That is an athletic finish. Yeah. Ball charge to number 10, Braden Crone is fourth. Big Braden Crone. Chance at the three point play. Free throw drops, so that'll complete the three point play. 94-83 the score, time winding down this one will go as a victory for the North on their home floor. Caleb Hoffman with the final basket likely of the game for the South. Final score, that one doesn't drop, 94-85 for Northern Saskatchewan. So it's the South winning the girls game, it's the North winning the boys game. And all in all, a pretty entertaining night of basketball. Oh, an absolutely great night of basketball. You gotta love seeing these guys get one last crack playing high school basketball, and they're just having fun out here, all being together. Nice hand from the crowd. Obviously, a lot of parents in the stands, a lot of siblings, a lot of basketball community here at St. Joe's in Saskatoon, treated to a fun night of basketball. 94-85, the final score in the boys' all-star game, and that's going to do it for our coverage here on Shaw TV. On behalf of Dalton Ulrich and the whole Shaw TV team, I'm Simon Hyatt. Thanks for joining, take care, and we'll see you soon.